Hey guys, welcome to my tiny little shuttlecraft where we are en route to that, the USS Aegis, codename NX-1787, which is the ship that we will be in control of soon enough for a mission, for this is Star Trek Bridge Crew. And without further ado, let's just head on into the bridge so I can give you a little bit of an explanation. And here we are on the bridge of the USS Aegis. I am here in the captain's chair. I am sporting yellow in-game because this sort of takes place after the original series where yellow was command and red was security and engineering and blue was science. But I'm wearing a red shirt in real life because I prefer the colors used by the Next Generation series where red was command. So. I am sporting a, uh, a Jean-Luc Picard red. <laughs> so this is my station. I've got some buttons here. Uh, this is the warp map, it's an impulse map. This is the most important one, kind of the regional map. Then we've got objectives. This is our ship status, hailing button, and the red alert button, which I will save for later. So I'm just going to kind of uh, do everything from this perspective. We can talk about those other stations in later videos but I want to keep this one as short as possible because the missions are long. So let's head on into a lobby and try and get a game going. I just finished up the tutorial. So we yeah, that's all. Hello there. All I did was a tutorial. Oh, both you guys. Hello, all right. Dakota. What's up? Yeah. Bimo Hindis and TK Rambo. So you're more of a veteran, Mr. TK. No, I'm not. Right. No? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. What's up, Hareth? How are you doing? Hey. Good, good. How are you guys? Good, doing well. Good, my man. Hit me up with that high five. Hit me up. Hit me up. Uh -oh. uh, Don't leave him hanging. <laughs> uh. All right, so, Bimo Hindus, you are on the helm. Oh, a big responsibility. Wait, who just? Oh, yeah. Never mind. We don't have to worry. We'll we'll get in there and figure it out. So we're locked out of episode one and everything. Uh, the prologue is super boring. But do you want to do just do that? Uh, uh, I mean, that's it's either that or an ongoing yeah. mission, and that's a little challenging. Let's just do prologue. All right. What can you do like that? One finger up. Uh, grip buttons yeah. if you're on the Vive. But if you're yeah, on PSVR, on I don't think you can, can do it. All right, you guys ready? 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 Oh, yeah. Let's go. Captain's log, start date 2258.161. My crew is assembled, and we're preparing to disembark on our expedition to the trench. Before we depart, however, Starfleet Command has asked us to complete one final exercise to confirm the Aegis's fitness for the mission ahead, and undoubtedly to test the readiness of her captain and crew. That's damn awesome. I didn't know that PlayStation and PC together. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't know that either. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, on screen. Opening channel. Aegis, we have a freighter coming into dock, and we've, uh, we've had a little trouble lately with smugglers trafficking invasive species. On your way out, I think it'd be best for everyone if you could just verify the ship isn't carrying any wildlife. Sure. All right, so who do we have that was a little bit newer, just so I can kind of help you out if, if you get stuck? Uh, I don't know. Uh... I'm I'll a little newer. The tutorial, but yeah, I'll, I'll I understand the most of it. Cool. All right. So, let's figure out what we're doing. Let me just quickly put some navigation on the view screen for you. Okay. So we need to check out these ships for smuggled wildlife. So, Mr. Bimohindis, could you please set a course heading one five mark zero towards the Ragusa? Of course. Just to get us a little bit closer. And Mr. Rambo, watch out for that space station. <laughs> and Mr. Rambo, just get scans on him and then go ahead and scan the other okay, two okay, when you are ready. Okay. That's all right. We're no worse <laughs> for wear. Alert. Red alert. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me get us out here. Okay, we're good. I guess we just needed to scan that one. So, Mr. Bimohindus, could you please go to your warp map and set a course to the Gamma Hydra system? And uh, Mr. Harris, could you begin charging the warp coils for us? All right. Setting engines to warp. All right. Go ahead and adjust heading towards that vector. Charging. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. And engage. Hold. All 
weren't ready. Green across the board. Okay, not expecting any trouble, so can you give us five blips on engine, Mr. Harris? Five blips on engine. Actually, go ahead and just throw everything on engine. Divert and everything. Right. Let's just cruise on through here. We are. Alright, well, we'll see. Mr. Uh, Behindus, could you please proceed forward at maximum speed? Let's see how fast this baby can go. Should be 7,600 kph, or impulse points, whichever, whichever yeah. reading. I'll be in uh, 500 power over here, so. I don't have to watch out for this uh, wreckage, right? I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> Mr. Harris, could you uh, go and reroute some extra power to the engines? Let's crank it past its maximum capacity. Uh, I'll reach the maximum, 5,000. Well, you should be able to go into your, your routing menu and uh, yeah, overcharge the nodes. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mr. Bimahindus, once we get within six kilometers, could you please hold us at that position? Mr. Rambo, it sounds like you're running scans, so go ahead and continue yes. with that. We've got six life forms on board. Mr. Rambo, could you take over the transporter and begin transporting over those six life forms? Will do. Locking now. All right, this is a good position, full stop. Six kilometers on the nose. Very impressive, Mr. Bimahendis. Thank you. Captain, we've lost contact with one of our survey vessels, the USS Nicholson. You're the closest ship to their last known position. We need you to locate the vessel and render any aid they may need. We're sending their last coordinates to you now. Starfleet out. All right, then. Section 6, correct? That's correct. So let's set an impulse course for the nebula within the Section 6 region. And I believe this is just an impulse jump, so engines should be good engineering. Yeah. And engage. Hopefully there are some Klingons afoot for us to battle. I love me some Klingons. <laughs> I have a bit of a battle yet. I think I'm killing the game so far, though. <laughs> well, I think the battle will be your first real test. Or rather, that will be our tactical officer's test. Yeah. Well, it's a team we'll effort. Just It'll be stuff, all of us. Right? For the most part, yes. Um, it can get confusing. Sometimes phaser banks are down on certain sides, but for the most part, I just try and coordinate with uh, captain and engineering to figure out if we're retreating or we're trying to keep them in the phaser arc. Captain, I'm detecting okay. mines in the area. Do all the en uh, engine and put that phaser range. We should be good with a uh, balanced. We're good here. Let's keep uh, four pips on engine power to keep our detection range down. So what are we doing here? Okay, Mr. Bimohindus, could you please move us towards this plasma coolant A and get some scans on there? Very good. Watch out for these gravitic mines. So uh, could you blow these out of the water, Mr. Rambo? We've got one. Will do. On our right and one on the left, starboard and port. Okay. And go ahead and get some scans on these anomalies if uh, you're not too busy. Out of range. No, don't worry about them right now. Let's just go ahead and worry about the coolant. A and B. Am I in the right way? Yes. We're heading just to the left of this anomaly. And Mr. Rambo, we're going to be moving in on this coolant. Uh, could you get a scan okay. on that first? And then after that, we're gonna be moving in towards the Beltane, where we are going to deal with those civilians. We are going to deal with them. So get those. Environmental oh, yeah. Uh-oh. All right, watch out. Let's move a bit more towards our left here. Stay away from this anomaly. Will do. Or, I mean, hard to port, because this is a yeah. space boat. 
I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, we should be in range of this coolant. Okay, I'm scanning now. I'll stop. You can keep moving forward because we're going to move on towards the Beltane next. Okay. So move us ahead in that direction, Mr. B. Mahindus. Mr. Rambo, we've got some more mines coming up, so could you take care of this one off of our port bow? And then next off our starboard bow. Okay. Scanning the Beltane now. Very good. So we have 10 minutes on the mission clock for the USS Nicholson. Mr. Behemdis, could you, uh, could we have all stop and then point us at heading 315 Mark Zero, but wait to proceed on my order. So do we have any civilians on this Beltane ship? What is, what do we need Let's to do see. there? So we need to uh, get into system intrusion and assist them with their engines. For some reason we are disrupting their engines. I suspect that the game wants us to fix via system intrusion. So do we have scans? Uh, on the Beltane? Yes, so through system yeah, intrusion, I've already, I've already, can uh -huh. you disrupt their engines? Yes, disrupting now. Heading 315. Okay, proceed forward at 4,000, please. I'll do. Mr. Rambo, can we get scans for life signs, please? Okay. What's wrong with your arms? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, you scanned for everything but life signs. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but the, I clicked it off. These crazy <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Transporting now. Perfect. So let's go ahead and destroy the USS Nicholson. They want us to scuttle their ship for whatever reason. Scuttle the ship? Yes. So go ahead with phasers just because uh, I'm not sure if we have torpedoes armed. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. That's no good. Oh, oh we need. We need shield. From Starfleet Command. They're sending us new coordinates. I'm guessing that ship had some explosive material on it. Yeah, that was quite a big explosion. Did 28% oh, to our hull. We got a little, little fire going on over here. Yeah, apparently oh, she's not concerned insane. about it, so we're going to head and leave it be. <laughs> I want to know one. what that girl's name is right there. <laughs> what is she watching TV That's over fine. there? Look at that screen. She's like watching sports or something. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is the Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you folks. Oh boy. Torpedo ethics in 8 seconds. Understood. Can you start blasting these mines, or...? Not quite yet. Captain, okay. Torpedo fixed 100%. Uh, Kobayashi Maru is 54 kilometers. Okay, well... So, at this point, we have two options. We can ignore the Kobayashi Maru in distress, <laughs> or we can go after it. If we go after it, we're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Captain, I'm making the executive decision to... Go after it. <laughs> so, Mr. Bima Hindus, would you please proceed forward at 4,000 kph? This is a ship of honor. We are going to risk our lives. I never died in this game. Damn you! I never died. I never died in this game. Oh, we're going to. Don't make it. Oh, there's a first for everything, young man. Mr. Rambo, could you please begin blasting these mines away at your discretion? Can we please have a little more power? to the phasers, please. Yep. We're approaching the Klingon neutral zone. 
Okay, we're going to have to transport survivors off there, so let's keep shields toggled down. Okay. Let's go to yellow alert. That is not actually an option, but just keep that in your mind. That means have an extra change of underwear ready to go. So once we get in range of the Kobayashi Maru, could you please scan for life signs, Mr. Rambo? Will do. And then go ahead and blast the rest of these last two gra gravitic mines. All right, so we should have some ships decloaking soon. I'm very low on phasers. Okay, should have we'll a moment to. Probably save those for a bit. Yeah. Mr. Hearth, get ready to put all power to shields. All right. And Engine Mr. Rambo, be ready to fire. transport them off as soon as possible. Okay. Mr. Beamhead, just keep just proceeding assuming. forward so that we can get just this uh, transport there. locked down. Yes, I, I will do that, Engineer. Locking now? Wow, 381, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Should I prepare in any direction? Um, let's go full about. Heading eight zero mark zero. Shields up. Oh, going to red okay, alert. Shields coming up. Phasers up. Get a lock on that ship. Do not fire yet. All right, go ahead and take it down. Full phasers and full torpedo spread. Whoa. Let's get some scans on him if you've got time. Try and disable his weapons if you can. Um, Mr. Hareth, I'm going to have you handle yeah. system intrusion, so Mr. Rambo, um, just stay on transporters. Okay, will do. Let's go ahead and disable his weapons, Mr. Hareth, if you've got a moment. Disable weapon. All right. Oh my gosh, my, my headset tracking is totally can we, gone. Can you bring shields down now to uh, begin transporting? Weapon disabled. Not yet. Let's keep trying to okay. bring him down. Okay. Yeah, eight seconds. Pull at 50%, 30%, and he's down, so let's drop shields. Prepare to transport the remaining yeah. survivors. The remaining 300. <laughs> Turning a full about face. Mr. B. Mahindus, I have forgotten which direction is back towards neutral zone. Is that this direction? Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, the way I'm facing about now. Very good. All right, hard about again. Do we have the last remaining... Do we have the last uh, lock ready to go? To two seconds. All right, as soon as you energize and have them on board, go ahead and bring your shields back up. Okay. Okay, shields coming up. All right, let's get um, weapon scans only on these ships. Mr. Behindus, hard about. Let's get in phaser range of the D5 Cruiser 2, and let's start taking him down with phasers and torpedoes when you are ready. Will do. I'm just going to reverse into him. He's coming into it's, me anyways. As long as you think that'll work. Uh, the D5 right. Cruiser 2, Mr. Hareth. All right. And... And it looks like he disabled. rammed us. Yeah, that man's pretty up there. Uh, Give me one like... second, guys. I'll be right back. Just keep holding position, right. keeping the shields up, and blowing down the Klingons. Over shield, 11%. Okay, I'm back. Over shield, 11%. Need my hands, though. Where are my hands? Alright, uh, our shields are only at 11%. I have the course plotted. Oh! Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead and jump out of here. Engage. Alright. Need more power? It's on. It starts. Congratulations, Captain. You and your crew have just completed the Kobayashi Maru simulation. I know it's not easy to face a no-win situation like that, but it's a necessary test, both for Starfleet and for yourselves. I think we all have a better idea now of the decisions you'll make when there's no obvious right answer. Based on your overall performance, I'm not only clearing the Aegis for Operation Distant Shore, I'm recommending that you lead the expedition into the trench. Oh my! All right. Well, I just found out that you can't actually beat that. <laughs> I've always stayed in range. <laughs> well, we... 
we lost that guy. Uh oh. Who is that? Our engineer? Oh, here he comes. Oh, there Welcome he is. Back. Yay. Okay. Well, we kind of won. I mean, on here it says uh, rescue the Kobayashi Maru or don't violate the neutral zone, and you can't do either of those things. I mean, so, it's sort of mutually exclusive, so. We kind of won. We, we did it. We, we finished it. <laughs> We're alive. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, was mission failed for me, because my whole objective there was to die. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Much to your chagrin. Well, good job, guys. Uh, I am going to head out. But it was nice playing with you gentlemen. We did a solid job, and I hope you guys are getting some good experience and you're on your way towards those brutal next missions. Watch out for mission oh. um, four. That one's a disaster. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fun right. stuff to you're look forward to. You're the best captain I've had of the one out captain of... we had that just left mid-game, so... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Top 50%. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. I'll check All you right, later. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> well, there we go. Thanks for watching. We had a little bit of a mix-up in there where I heard my camera shut down, so I don't know how long it was or was not rolling, but I tried to get back in. Um, just a synopsis of what was happening. We went into the neutral zone to try and rescue the Kobayashi Maru. There are 370 people on board, and we can only transport six at a time, so we had to figure out what to do. It was a no-win scenario, as it turns out. Um, I had always previously, when I played that mission, stayed in range and, and tried to just wait for something else to happen, but have died every single time. So that's that. Um, I, I didn't realize it was just a simulation, too, as the, the Admiral came on and told us. But... There you go, our first mission, or sort of the prologue mission for Star Trek Bridge Crew of the beautiful NX-1787s, actually my favorite looking ship of all of the Star Trek, um, any ships. I mean, not just the Enterprise Galaxy Class models, even like the Defiant and some of the other stuff. Really has a cool, modern, futuristic look, and I'd say even better than the, uh, the movie ones, but I can talk Star Trek all day. Not really a Trekkie, per se, but I have watched most of the series, and, um really enjoyed them. So thanks for watching. That was our first mission in Star Trek Bridge Crew. Thumbs up if you like... Oh, shoot. I can't do thumbs, can I? Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Let me know uh, what you think I can do to improve in the future. But that's all I've got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.